Hi folks, today we're going to test whether an SMTP server is running correctly. You may suspect that your outbound email is not being sent by your SMTP server and this is a technique used to actually test whether the service is running correctly. Now this is a Windows command prompt. Uh, you can run this from any other type of command prompt as long as your system has the telnet command then this will work. So what you do is right here at the command prompt you type telnet space the address of the SMTP server space and 25. This is the port number that the SMTP service runs on. Uh, the default is port 25. Some servers may use a different number but you'll need to find out to test that correctly. So we type the command and then we hit return and we get a 220 response which tells me that everything's fine so far. It's happy to take that and that the service is running. And then we have to issue an HELO command space and anything after that. It's not important. That tells me it's communicated. It's come back with the 250 response, which is an a working command, a working result. And what we do next is we specify who we're sending the test message from. To do that, we use the mail from colon command space. You must have space. And let's say Billy at microsoft.com um, it's usually best to specify an existing domain name that you know exists because some some mail server systems will actually filter out non-genuine so you couldn't have like billy at abcdefg.com it, it would it usually it would reject it some mail servers don't but I know for a fact that mine does so we hit return we get the 250 okay that's fine and now we're going to say who we're actually going to send it to. Now for my purpose I've set up a demo email account so to do this we type rcpt space 2 colon space and demo at lifenews.com return accepted. Now we're not going to worry about the subject of the message we're just going to put something into the body of the message. So to do that, to do that we type the data command, hit return, and then just about anything we like here. Just about any old thing will suffice. And to submit the message, we hit the period or full stop and return. And we get the 250 OK response which tells us that the message was accepted, commands have been all accepted, the message is OK and it's been sent. So what you'll probably want to do here is quit from that and drops you back to your prompt and then we'll have a look at whether the message has got through and there it is, it's made it through from billy at microsoft.com just any old thing will suffice and that tells me that the service is running correctly it's handled it, it's taken the command and it's sent an email through. So that's all working fine, which tells me my service is OK. And there you have it. Um, I will just add that some people have been known to use this technique to spam. Um, we certainly could not condone that here at TechMaster. And this is purely for testing purposes only. And we wouldn't accept anyone doing that on our behalf. So there you go, and I hope you find this useful, and I'll see you in the next video.